Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I know it's been quite a while since we've had a video on this channel that wasn't part of the Let's Play, but as of now the Let's Play is finally finished. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the post game anytime soon because I really want to get back into doing my anime related videos, my what if kind of videos. So those are going to be the next things we see in the next upcoming few weeks, probably for a little while, just so we can get back into the swing of things with that. I especially want to focus on the What If Ash Traveled Galar series or Ash's Galar Journey series, whatever I called it. So yeah, we're going to focus on that for the time being. But before we get into any of that, of course, we need to talk about the big anime news that came out last week. Unfortunately, I wish I could have made a video on it then when it came out, but there was a lot going on for me last week. And I didn't want to just rush a video out just to get one out. I wanted to put all of my thoughts and opinions into it properly, so that's why I waited until now to do it. But hopefully this will be good now because it'll be more, you know, clean, proper, it won't be so much of a mess. Also, in general, there really wasn't that much information to even talk about, even now. We don't know all too much about what's coming, so that's another reason why I didn't feel the need to rush out a video. But since we have time now, I thought I may as well get right into it. So. First things first, the, well today, there should have been an anime special called The Distant Blue Sky, which focuses on the alternate universe Ash, where he and Pikachu meet this boy called Haruto, and Pikachu gets stolen by Team Rocket again, and they just get into some shenanigans and hijinks. Again, it's another one of those AU specials where it's a different Ash, back in Kanto, etc, etc. I didn't really really need to talk too much about this episode, because, again, it's AU, it was kind of just a little special. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that episode should have aired today, so if you haven't seen it yet, I definitely recommend going to check it out if you're interested. Now the first big set of news that was announced on last week was that from January 13th, 2023 until around April 2023, there was going to be an 11 episode special series called Aim to be a Pokemon Master. And this series is going to be the final chapter for Ash and Pikachu's story. That is right guys, this is going to be the end for Ash. And can I just say, I knew that something like this might happen. I, like, I, had, I had a feeling that we would get some kind of ending for Ash, at least Ash and Pikachu as we know it, because the way things were, have been going the past few series, I, I just couldn't have imagined that they were going to just continue on, go to status quo, have Ash go to Paltea or something, and do a Scarlet and Violet series. That's why I'm not shocked at all that they're ending Ash and Pikachu's story and that they're moving on with a new set of characters for the future of the anime. But before we get into that, uh, you guys should know, yes, Aim to be a Pokemon Master is going to be an 11 episode short series where they're just finishing up Ash and Pikachu's story. That series is going to fe feature all of Ash's old Pokemon. It's going to feature his old companions like Brock and Misty already appeared in the trailer. A trailer was revealed for all this stuff, so if you guys haven't checked it out by now, I'll link it in the description in the comments for you guys so you can check it out. But yeah, long story short, that's going to be the end of Ash's journey. He's going to be interacting with his old Pokemon again. We're going to see all of them again, even in the poster. Just like with the, uh, you know, final battle against Leon, they showed Ash with Ambipom and Primate. All the Pokemon he's released, all of them appeared in the poster. And so I'm guessing we're going to see all of them. I'm not sure how they're going to bring Ambipom back and anything else that Ash has released. But uh, that's what it seems to be. That's what the poster seems to suggest, that we're going to see all his Pokemon again. So... That's nice. It's good to know that we're finally going to see the end of Ash's journey. Of course, I didn't watch Pokemon Journeys, but I was keeping up with the news here and there. And I know that Ash ended up beating Leon, and now he's deemed the strongest trainer ever. So it, it has been kind of interesting to think about what else they could do with Ash at this point. I was thinking for sure that this was a possibility, that they would just end Ash's journey with that. Of course, they didn't just end it there. They're going to be ending it with this special side series, so that's good to know. You guys probably already know me. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Ash. I've just gotten tired of his character in recent years. I've just, I, I really have wanted Ash to be replaced for a while. I think he should have been replaced after the Orange Islands, if I'm being honest. And I have a whole video about the, that coming out in the future. But regardless, uh, long story short, this is going to be the end of Ash's journey. We're just going to get 11 episodes, finishing him off. I'm not sure how they're going to get to the end, finish everything. The trailer was kind of vague. It just kind of showed Ash and... Pikachu running around, meeting Brock, Misty, seeing Gary, showing his old Pokemon here and there. So I guess we'll get more information as we get closer to January, which it's almost January now, for being honest. We're halfway through December, so hopefully we'll get that information pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the end of Ash. So for anyone who's an Ash fan, I hope you really enjoy these episodes. Like I said, I really don't care too much for Ash, but I am happy that he's getting a solid conclusion for all those who have been supporting him and loving him for the past 25 years. Now for the absolute biggest information... We got a very, very brief preview for the next upcoming anime series. And this series is actually not even going to air in 
till April, which might I just say, I really like that it's not airing until April because it is going to be featuring some elements that we can see from Paldea and Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet, as we can see with the three starters appearing on the poster. And we all know uh, that not everyone has been able to get the game yet, especially, you know, kids who can't get the game till Christmas. I, I really was going to feel bad for them if they ended up getting spoiled through the anime, if they started up a Scarlet and Violet series and they were showing everything. So I'm glad that it's not starting until April, so anyone who hasn't gotten to play the game yet can have that chance to do that and not have to deal with spoilers through the series. Especially with a game like Scarlet and Violet where the story is so open and free, you don't want any of that spoiled to you. But yes, so the new anime series has been announced. It's simply being called Pocket Monsters, just like Journeys in Japanese was just called Pocket Monsters and it was kind of dubbed Pocket Monsters 2019. This anime series is just being called Pocket Monsters 2023. So yeah, it's not it's not Pokemon the series Scarlet and Violet. It's not a Scarlet and Violet series. I want that to be made clear, which again, I kind of speculated on that many months ago. I said I really didn't think we'd be getting a Scarlet and Violet series considering we didn't get one for Sword and Shield. And heck, we barely got one for Alola and Sun and Moon for being real. I mean, we got Pokemon the series Sun and Moon, but let's be real. Ash just sat in Mele Mele on, in, in the classroom all day, so make of that what you will, your opinion on that. But yeah, so I want to be made clear, this is not a Scarlet and Violet series. It is just the next series called Pokemon 2023. And this series is going to feature two brand new characters, a girl whose name is Rico and a boy whose name is Roy. And Rico seems to be that she's going to be having Sprigatito based on some scenes we see in the trailer. Whereas Roy is being pictured with Flaycoco next to him and also Quaxly. We're not sure if that's exactly who's going to be getting them. Especially Quaxly. Quaxly's kind of up in the air. I mean, he's closer to Roy, but I also noticed that Rico's wearing a lot of blue. So I was kind of wondering if maybe she'd get Quaxly, but I'm not too sure. Maybe there'll be some third person. We don't know. Maybe it'll be for a rival. I don't know. But all we know is that... At the very least, Rico is having Sprigatito because we see her with it in the trailer and it's right next to her on the poster, and I'm guessing we will have Foy Coco uh, and Quaxley, and maybe one of them will have it, who knows who else will have it, but either way, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be them two as the main characters, Rico and Roy, or actually, I think, well, I've heard Rico's name being said to be Rico and Lico. I'm not sure if they're just going to, if like the, you know, official translated version is Lico. I heard Rico and Lico, so again, make of that what you will. That's another reason why I wasn't trying to really rush out a video because... I didn't want, you know, I want the proper information to be provided. I don't want to give you guys the wrong names. Of course, I can just make a little edit depending on what the actual information is, but I'm sure we'll get more in the future. So in the end, I'm sure in a few months time, we'll know if her name is going to be Liko or Rico. It doesn't really matter, honestly. The point is, she and Rory are going to be the two brand new characters, the new main characters of the show. That's what was specifically said. And there also was a little summary given. So I will read that summary to you guys now. In April 2023, the curtain rises for new dreams and adventures set across the entire Pokemon world. The video that was revealed for the first time in the world today also announced the two new protagonists of this series, a young girl named Liko and a young boy named Roy, who also appear in the teaser poster. The new series will see an adventure unfold alongside lots of Pokemon, including Sprigatito, Flaycoco, and Quaxley from the new Pocket Monsters games Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch. The alternately colored legendary Pokemon, Black Rayquaza, will also appear. Please stay tuned for further news. So, there you go. The summary, essentially to me, suggests that this is exactly what I thought it would be. It's basically like Journeys 2.0. It's not going to be set solely in Paldea or one specific region. They're going to be traveling across the entire world. It says right there in the summary that the journey and adventures are going to be set across the entire Pokemon world. So, I'm imagining it's going to be just like Journeys where we're going to be going across multiple different regions. They're probably going to go to a different one maybe every few episodes. I didn't really watch Journey, so I don't know the exact format, but I'm pretty sure like every few episodes they were just going to different regions, but they primarily stayed in Kanto. I'm really hoping they don't stay in Kanto this time. I, at the very least, can we just have their base be Paldea? I'm already anticipating that they're not going to be getting too much focus on Paldea, considering they're going to be region hopping once again, going from region to region, and doing different adventures across the entire world, but at the very least, I hope we can have a bit more focus on Paldea than Galar got. You know, Galar really got shafted in Journeys. You know, we barely saw anything related to Galar or Sword and Shield's story. I know they had the little plot with, you know, Rose and Eternatus and Zamazenta and Zacian, and I know Ash's goal was to beat Leon, which he did, but honestly speaking, I don't know, I just feel like they just neglected so much of Sword and Shield's story. They, they barely talked about anything. Everything was just this Big adventure for Ash, getting stronger, battling these trainers to compete in this anime-exclusive created competition. 
to this day, I still don't understand why they couldn't just have Ash take on the Gallery Gym Challenge, but that wasn't what they did, so I'm having doubts that we're going to be seeing uh, Liko and Rory go on the treasure hunt. I'm hoping they will. At the very least, I hope it'll be kind of like vaguely mentioned, like, okay, you're going to do this, or maybe her goal or his goal, maybe both of their goals are like to go on a treasure hunt and whatever that entails, we'll be traveling around the world. I don't know if they're going to be doing, you know, the three stories from Scarlet and Violet, you know, Victory Road, Path of Legends, and Starfall Street. I hope in some way they will be incorporated because, I mean, come on, it's a brand new region, we have brand new games. I really just feel like at the very least the new game should be taking priority, the new region. If they want a region hop every so often, I don't mind that. Especially with these two, you know, the big issue I had with Ash doing it was that we'd already seen Ash go through Hoenn, Johto, Kanto, Sinnoh, Kalos, Alola. I don't see why they need to do that again. At the very least, these two, we've not seen them go anywhere, so seeing them go to Kanto, go to Johto, Hoenn, Unova, it's not going to be as annoying because it's still brand new to them because they're new characters. That said, I don't know, I still just feel like we, the audience, have already seen those regions get their time in the spotlight, and anyone who hadn't seen it, like, maybe they skipped the series, maybe they weren't born yet, they can look it up online, there are ways to go find the older series and see Hoenn in the spotlight. I really just don't see the point of region hopping all over the place when we have brand new regions we can focus on. But at the very least, I hope Haldea and Scarlet and Violet's story elements can get more attention than Galar did. Galar was just so shafted. And again, I also say that for Alola too, again, what happened in Sun and Moon? Ash sat in Kakui's classroom pretty much the entire series. We barely saw any of Alola outside of Kakui's house and Kakui's classroom on Mele Mele Island. So honestly speaking, this whole thing of not giving that much attention to the brand new region started way back in Sun and Moon days, back in... 2016. This isn't even just a journeys thing. It just was made worse there. But again, at the very least, I can, you know, have a bit more sympathy for this because, again, we've not seen Rico and Roy travel across the region or travel across the world, so seeing them in Hoenn and Sinnoh won't bother me as much. That said, I do hope we'll get to see some elements from Scarlet and Violet in this series. I'm hoping, you know, I don't know if they're gonna travel with the meat karate and a ride on and do the treasure hunt and all that. I hope we will see it in some form. Even if it's just arcs, you know, I don't know. But long story short, you know, ignoring all that, at the very least, I just hope that these characters will be enjoyable. I hope they'll have actual meaningful goals and personalities. I really hope they don't have some vague goal like, I want to be a Pokemon master, like something you have no way to measure how to get to that point. You know, at least if you're going to say you're going to go on a treasure hunt, anything could be your treasure. You know, your treasure could be becoming a strong trainer. Your treasure could be meeting lots of Pokemon, traveling, going to see lots of places, meeting lots of people. You know, exploring, just general, becoming a good trainer. That could be a treasure hunt. That could be your treasure. So if that's their goal, I wouldn't mind just something like that, because in the end, they can still say, okay, my treasure ended up being this. Whereas something like, I want to be a Pokemon master, that's just so vague. Like, we don't know how to even measure that. And that's what's supposed to be happening in the 11-episode series, by the way. It's supposed to be Ash figuring out how to, how to get to that point of being a Pokemon master. But that was Ash's thing. I hope for the future we have more, you know, tangible, measurable goals for these two. But overall, my opinion is that I'm pretty excited for this. I haven't had much interest in the anime in really years since... Let's be honest, I haven't had much interest in the anime since X and Y. You know, I, I had interest in Sun and Moon until it was determined that Ash was just going to be sitting in school all day. You know, I could have had interest in a Sword and Shield series, but they didn't do one, so... Honestly, I really just haven't had much interest in the show in a while, but now that we're finally getting rid of Ash, now that we're finally having brand new faces of the show, I'm a bit more interested now, I'm more curious to see what they're going to be like. I really like their designs, I think they look cute, I think they, they really remind me of um, Juliana and Florian, the player characters for Scarlet and Violet, they look like they're loosely based off of them, especially their big eyes and the eye colors. And I, I swear that Rico's hair looks like a hairstyle I used in Scarlet and Violet, maybe I'm imagining that. I swear I had a, I saw a style, a style similar to that, but I don't know, but at the very least I think they're meant to be based off of Juliana and Florian. But either way, I'm very happy that we're going to be getting this brand new series, I'm really interested in seeing it, I'm excited to start seeing some more information at the very least. That's my big thing. I, I'm very interested in seeing when they start dropping the actual facts about them, getting their information, their personalities, and different things like that. So don't worry guys, I will definitely be updating you guys in the future. Anytime we get a new update, some more information about the characters, I'll be making some videos, some shorts, some community posts, anything to keep you guys updated. So yeah, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry that it was pretty delayed since the news came out a while ago, but in the end, I hope you guys are excited for the new series as much as I am. For anyone who likes Ash, I hope you guys are excited for his final series, Aim to be a Pokemon Master. And overall, uh, I'm really interested in what's 
happening with the anime to come. I will be continuing on my um, Ashes Gala Journey series, and I will also be doing some other series there on the side, again talking about Ash having been replaced years past, but again, those will be coming up in the future. For right now, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the future. Thank you!